Now they brought into the world a young seed. Y'all understand that? You all right, Jay? Don't miss it. Don't let Satan take it away from you. You already been to bed, right? Did you go to bed last night? Yeah. That's why I told you I'm going to get you out in the morning. I ain't going to get you late at night. When you're tired, you, know, you can been asleep. All right, so listen, if we got something to pull out, and then we're going to go right into where we need to be. All right, let's go. Fair Zion is left, like a booth in a vineyard, like a hut in a cucumber field, like a city, build guard. All right, so I'm going to read this out of the KJV. He read it out of the, the, the scriptures. I'm going to read it out of the KJV. Now, this is where we're going to point some stuff out. See, here, see, it, it's, it's, you heard it. Did y'all hear anything before I get into it? Did you hear anything that stood out, Jasmine Roberts? Not really? Read it again, Josh. Fair Zion is left like a booth in a vineyard, like a hut in a cucumber field, like a city, Billy a guard. One eight. Isaiah one eight. Isaiah one eight. All right, let me read out of the KJV. Then I'm gonna come back and ask you. And the daughter of Zion, who is this? Raise your hand. Who is this? All right, put your hands down. And the daughter of Zion is left as a cottage in a vineyard, as a lodge in a garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. They are left as a besieged city. So let's, let's, let's hear it. Let's, let's hold up. Let's get the depth of this. This is how you leave the daughters of Zion. So I looked it up. First of all, let's look at daughter. Hebrew 13, 23. Bath. All right. Meaning daughter, young woman, women. All right. As personifications, daughter equals villages. Y'all hear this? Description of character. You are a description of what? Or are you? You see what I'm saying? But watch this. In other words, figuratively from the Strong's, apple of the eye, branch. Y'all got it? So you're supposed to be a part of the, the building. You're supposed to be a part of the foundation. You're supposed to be villages. But watch this. He said you are left as a cottage you're left as a cottage listen to this you are left as a cottage well let's look at it cottage hebrew 55 21 look at this thicket covert booth thicket booth a rude or a look at this or a temporary shelter you are a temporary shelter. You were left as a temporary shelter. That means, guess what? What I said in the beginning, that you, that's how men look at you. you I'm going to just come here for a short stay. Huh? Y'all hear this? Do they want to be a, a, a temporary stay, a short stay? Do, do, is that what they want to be? No, sir. Why not? Is that what y'all designed the daughters of Zion to be? No. no. So obviously, when he said that you were like villages. Villages is a part of a clan, tribe. That these are dwelling places that as we grow. You understand? These are places. So as we grow as a nation, then guess what? More and more families come from the daughters of Zion that are carrying the seed of righteousness. Your essence is right. And so this is what we're talking about 
we're talking about essence versus stench. So this is what we talked about last night. When these daughters of Zion have a true essence about them, then a man can discern that this is a place where I can dwell. This is a place where my heart can safely trust in. This is a place where I can plant righteous seed and bring them up because I know they're going to be made of this the essence of this woman. That's what I knew about my children. I knew that. See, it's, it's children, I promise you. Men, when you watch this video, I need you to comment down here and tell me. Is there women that you can look at and say, ain't no way I'm going to put seeds on that ground. Ain't no way she can already carry none of my seeds. I'll eat, I'm not doing it. Ugh. Men have had the thought, I will go there, but I definitely would not get up pregnant. I can't leave no seed there. I'm, if y'all know that, sisters, I'm telling men talk like that. Now, I, I run there real quick just because I need something to do, but I definitely ain't putting no seeds on. Ugh, can't do that in hatch. Y'all hear me? Because their essence was jacked up. I can think of women in college where they had that label on them. Boy, you better not get her pregnant. Oh, hell no. How you think it feel to have that type of essence on you? As a woman. I'm going to hear from you. How you think that would feel, sister? You, are you going to answer, Jada? Make sure you speak up. It'd be shameful. What do you think, Sister Jasmine Team? I lay with her, but I, I, I better not put no seeds on it. Disgraceful. Unvalued. Unvalued. Jenkins, what do you think? Like it, this it, like a besieged city. You gave up what y'all gave you to be the essence of your being, for you to protect yourself, protect yourself from foolishness. See, when when daughters of Zion don't protect themselves from men who all they want to do is just lie down with them, then guess what? You are a besieged city. You are a, a piece of used territory. Y'all get it? All right. So let's read this and let's get ready to end this in Isaiah. So I wanted to read this so y'all can understand. This is what y'all said about the daughters of Zion. So now when we go to Isaiah chapter 3. All right. We're going to start at verse 16 and we're going to go to, uh, yeah, we're going to go, we start in verse 16, but we're going to go to chap. I mean, verse 28 right there. That's where it starts. All right. Here it is. Let's listen. Watch what y'all say. Y'all will say, y'all will say, come on, because the daughters of Zion are so vain. Stop. 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 Yahweh said, because the daughters of Zion are so what? Vain. They're so vain. Woo! Goodness. How do you become vain? When you got all of this essence about you. Do you remember your purity, Heidi? Do you remember? You remember being young? Do you ever get you remember being young? Like these running around when you had not yet known a man. You remember that? What you thinking about man and, and what, what you going to do and how they, how they going to do you? What you think about in that? You remember Jasmine Roberts? Y'all ain't mad I'm calling y'all name on here. It, it, he frightened me out. So that's vain. How they get vain? How you think they got vain, Jasmine Rock? 
Where the vein is coming in. How do they go from right here being pure to being vain? You gave it up. Because of what? What? A billion dollars? A, a permanent place to stay? A house? Or what? How did he give it up? Lust. Lust. Y'all hear that? See, this vein has come with a thought. See, all, see, what, what, what? Hasatan planted in Eve was a vain thought. Where he caused you to exalt your knowledge above the knowledge of Yah. Yah said, don't eat from the tree of function and dysfunction. Or for you all that's not in the mechanical translation of the knowledge of good and what? Evil. Evil. But I, me personally, I like function and dysfunction. Because guess what? You, you, when, when you become dysfunctional, then Raven, you no longer function how Yah want you to operate in that purity because it's a man that deserves that purity so that a pure seed can be raised up on pure ground. You understand that? But when you operate in vainness, but that's why, I look, a lot of these sisters that you would meet at the feast, a lot of these sisters that's in these camps, you would meet them, and all you got to do is sit and listen. They sound so vain. Mm -hmm. When I sit and listen to their speech, they, they don't understand you sit there and listen to it. They be talking to you. I've had talks with sisters that been here, and they trying to tell you what they do. I'm asking, because I want to hear what you're saying. I want to see if, if, if the soundness of Yahweh have landed upon you yet. But you guess what? We can't. Hear it because you are vain. We can't hear it in there. You're being overran by all the stuff that's been implanted. You. Who hurt you? Who just ran through you just like a broken city? Like a cottage. A temporary dwelling. You got a lot of people who just passed through you like it was a hotel down here in Iowa. They paid their money, they slept, and they moved on. Many men have laid on the heads of those pillars, those pillows in them in them hotel room. That's what y'all saying a cottage is like. That's what these sisters become. You become like a cottage. You never knew the last name of some of these people who slept on your pillow. You accidentally run into somebody that have slept on your pillow 20 years ago and, and you see his face and it's like, can't remember, did you, you didn't know him from, from the Holy Spirit. You knew him from, he slept on your pillow. It's like, come to mind. It's like, dang. Did y'all hear me? Yes, Pastor. See, people don't want to hear this. Come on, watch this. Watch y'all. So then, then, then he said, when they bang, watch what happened. See, this, watch everything y'all named in this book when he said that they are vain. And this is what y'all want to save y'all from. He don't want y'all to go in it. And the daughters that have won't went in it, he want to save them by them getting a good name. That's right. That's right. He want to save them by giving them a good name. Mm -hmm. That's why he wants you to keep yourself pure so you can take on a good name. That's why the fathers is watching so that, guess what? When, when my little Adia Eliani Phillips get married, will her name be Phillips anymore? No, What's your last name? Phillips. What was your, what was your last name? Tell them all them last names you had. <laughs> Milligan and Patterson. All right, all right. So, and her last name was that because her mom's last name was Patterson, and your dad's name was Milligan. All right, so then they got married. Milligan Patterson. So, so she ain't had no bunch. It wasn't no two. <laughs> hell no. All right, come on. And walk with heads thrown back. See this? Look, look. See what happened when you come back? See it? All you gotta do is watch, watch, watch. Then watch, watch the daughter's design. Then already see what this will happen. See, cause see this. Listen, as soon as you give away what Yah told you to keep pure, then what this will happen? Don't. He look, he said, look, that's the first thing he said. They throw their heads back. Why didn't he say something else? Because you see them, they just 
Now you became something. A what? Y'all remember being in sixth grade and seventh grade. Then we got in eighth grade. Then girls that was having sex, y'all said they 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 ain't play for no more. You like you trying to still play? They like little boy, don't play with me. Like you trying to figure out? Then I, then I started to figure it out when when I got in high school. I figured it out. Like oh oh, that's what was going on. They was feeling grown because guess what? Somebody was laying with them. So now I was a little boy and they was grown. So guess what they did? They, they threw their head back because now they suck. And that's how they do? That's right. Ain't it? Ain't it? what y'all say? He said, the daughters of Zion are vain. Mm -hmm. Then the next thing he said, see, these are all things you can observe with your own eyes. You can see when they throw their head back. See, I ain't just, you don't just watch people in the store and they do this. They shake their head like, oh, she vain. That didn't mean she was vain. Don't take that little. When he threw the head back, they assumed a position of pride. That makes sense? Yes. They became prideful within themselves. Come on. With roving eyes and with mincing gait. Uh-oh, with roving eyes. What are they talking about, Gap? Staring, I don't know. I well, see, like staring well, you in your face. Well, you got it. See, you got it. Remember what y'all said. What did y'all warn us of? Don't look a woman what? In her eyes. Or she'll inject what? Poison. So what? Cause why? Cause you got roving eyes. See, see, I, I, I'd have been there. I've been standing in the store in line. I happen to look. I'm looking around in the aisles. You know, they got the candy and the chips in the aisles. And then right here above the next aisle, you turn around, you look. Bam! She looking right at you. She ain't said nothing. She had to say nothing. like, you just feel something. Bam. Lord. You know what I mean? You got to move forward. I kept ducking my head down like I'm looking at the candy at the bottom row. Like. <laughs> <laughs> then you see, then you get up there and get ready to pay for it. Then she paying for her. She looking around like she trying to look at something. And then look back, look back at you. Trying to see if you still looking up. <laughs> see, all these is actions of a vain woman. This is vainness. Because you go in the store and start staring little boys in their eyes, then we know you became vain. You no longer a daughter of Zion. You became vain. Do y'all hear me? You became vain. You understand? You're vain. You're not who you, who Yah said you were. You understand? Let's go, Josh. Making a tinkling with their feet. See this? Because see, now they got that little walk. See all this? All the vain is the walk. Your head and went back. Now you got roving eyes, right? And if you tinkling with your feet, what's happening with your hips? They swing. See, right now, watch out. Y'all just walk straight as a gate right now. Y'all playing, running, look goofy and shit. <laughs> you ain't worried about nothing. I watch y'all. I think yesterday playing. Ah, ah, they ain't worried about nothing. When nobody running like, ugh. <laughs> Come on. My Yahweh will bear the pates of the daughters of Zion. Yahweh will uncover their heads. Uh-oh. He will uncover their head. I mean, you're going to be down. You're going to show that you don't have no rule over you. You're not going to, you don't have no authority over you. He's going to uncover and show the meaning that he's going to show that you are on your own rule. That's where you at. You're not under, you're not under submission. That's what these was about. You being covered was about you showing that you have authority over you. So he's going to uncover you. So this is how you see when women, see now, now this is all, it's all out in the opening. When you have no authority, watch how women, this is what we were talking about last night. When we was talking about being under instruction. So when, when you have, when you got to give things 
when we give instruction in this house a certain way because you are under authority. You're not doing your own way, but you are used to doing it. Ain't that what we talked about last night? Yes, you were used to doing it your way. You can't do it your way. I don't care if you do it a good way. You need to be broke down. They're like you break a war bride down and bring her in and make her submit to the way that is going to be done in the house of Yahweh. That's right. That makes sense? That makes sense. See, that's what happened, and that's what got to happen. That's why Yah a good name, because when you go to a, na a house with a good name, you're going to get broke down. And who you were, you ain't going to be that no more. If I was an expert doing it in the world, oh, this is it. See, that's what men talk about in the world about, boy, I broke her down. Had her ready, ready to get on that whole track. See, men talk like that. Why? Because it's a... That, see, they, they misuse what y'all gave them in being in authority and you start using it for that evil way. Right. But in righteousness, do you understand... Y'all wanted you to be Because the whole head was sick So he wants you to finally be firm mm -hmm. Don't be sick right. Be firm Be a mainstay Where the daughter's got a place to go back to There is somewhere that they can look up And see a good name And go back and become righteous again mm -hmm. Do y'all hear this? Yes, man. All because you was vain So now when, when the word of whispering Come and speak the voice in your ear You don't listen to it And you bypass that, but if you listen, you become vain and you do listen to it, then you go on over into that prideful state until you find out that you have become a cottage and your city is torn down. You are a broken city. A place of desolation. That's what's wrong with a lot of these women now. They're a place of desolation. You so desolate in your heart that it's, it's, it's going to be a hard road to feel. It's going to be hard shoes to feel because you're broken in your eternal place of peace. Come on. And that day, my Yahweh will strip off their finery of the anklets, the fillets, and the crescents, of the eardrops and bracelets, the veils, the turbans, the armlets, and the sashes, of the talismans and the amulets, the signet rings and the nose rings of the festive robes, the mantles and the shawls and purses, the lace gowns and the linen vests. Stop. Stop. Josh, you see all this stuff women got? Y'all hear this? The nose rings and purses and satin gowns and all. all you, you, you understand? All the stuff that made y'all glamorous, that, that made people that look at y'all other than the essence. See, the essence you don't need. You, when you got an essence about yourself, you don't need all that stuff for a man to see that that is where he want to plant his seeds. Where that is a place that I want to dwell in. I don't want this to be a temporary cottage. I said it within myself. I didn't want this woman right here to be a temporary cottage. I said it because of the essence that this woman had on her. I knew within me. See, men know when they come across you whether you are a temporary cottage or if you are a temporary, I mean, you are a, a long-term dwelling place. Because of your essence. Do y'all hear me? Yes, Pastor. If you got a good essence about yourself, Men are drawn to that more than them clothes. See, only people that's going to be drawn to all that outer garment and all that exterior and all those things. Only people going to be drawn to that. People that's looking for a temporary dwelling. See, that what that do for them, it, it, it builds up a, 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 a vain thought. Mm -hmm. It builds up a, a fantasy mm -hmm. in their mind. And then they all they want to do is see a fantasy. All you want to do is meet that fantasy. And then when the fantasy over, you 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 met that thrill, right? Yep. Move on. Do y'all know that? Yes. See a lot. Of, do y'all believe a lot of daughters of Zion became a fulfillment of a fantasy, and that, that that was it. That was the lot that you met. 
Did y'all know that? I can't hear y'all. Yes. Yeah, I want to hear. I want to hear. See, if you're online, type yes. So I know that I hear you saying yes. Don't walk in shame. Walk in yes, because that ain't you no more. Come on. And then, instead of perfume, there shall be rocks. And instead of an apron, a rope. Instead of a disdain, a beaten work. Y'all hear this? Look, it's here, a beaten work. This is what they're going to become. See, this is what happened to the daughters of Zion. You watch, and they out in the world, you just see them. They just fall to death. I mean, just a stench. See, this is what he's saying. This is what a stench is. He's talking about instead of being this, you have become that. Be, instead of doing this, this is what you are now. That means all these things, what you have become is a part of being a stench right. instead of having an essence. Right. So I'm going to talk about two things about this soon we get done reading. And then we're going to be done. Let's go. Instead of a rich robe, a girding of sackcloth, a burn instead of beauty. You hear that? You're going to be a burn instead of a beauty. You ever seen burnt skin? Yes, you ever seen anybody with burnt skin? Mm -hmm. What does it look like when you see people that's got kind of burn? Do it look desirable? Not at all. You know, I'm not talking about my, my one of my younger brother's wife, mother, but she was in a house fire. And she got a pretty bad burn. Her face continually looks like her skin was melting down on her face. That's how it looked like her skin ran down. And she has to put on a lot of makeup to try to cover it up. And I can see the, the lack of confidence. It didn't bother me, but I'm just saying, how many men is going to gravitate towards like, ooh, we? I mean, you think you think a lot of men going to gravitate towards that? Um, no, not if they're looking for outward appearance they wouldn't. Nope, see, and what we say most men are looking for, the men are looking for to fulfill a fantasy, so they don't meet fantasy standards. So, but when you get all dressed up, and you go to the club, and you got your perfume on, and your earrings, and your, your heels is mincing, right? Y'all remember mincing, right? You remember, I? Right? Jazz, you remember mincing? You didn't mince? Uh, did, did you mince? Abigail? Oh, you remember mincing? Jazz and Robert, you remember mincing? You remember sashaying across camp, campus? And... Okay. Sister Crystal, did you mince? You minced. All right. So when we mince, all right, when we minced, we was drawing outward attention. Because whatever thought you fulfilled in somebody's mind who saw you in the club. So how many times I've seen guys like, boy. They seen them and they like, oh my goodness. Then they went and they had a temporary dwelling place. And then guess what? They ain't talking no more. I remember seeing one of my frat brothers. I seen this girl. He was all just, she was everything. She was all in all fire and desire. Do you hear me? Then when I seen Brandon the next day, I'm asking like, man, what? Oh, man. Bro, I, I was full of drink. And, I mean, I got a girl back. I ain't. I ain't. So nothing. No, I ain't trying to see her no more. Matter of fact, you left the girl at our school. You left her at CMSU instead of her riding with you. She rode down with you from the University of Missouri to come down to a party we was having at the school and you came with her but then you left her there and we had to get her back to her school. That's how it was. You see what I'm saying? See what happened? You hear that, Raven? You became something for somebody only for that time. You was everything. In the car, you was around the, the fraternity brothers and you just, you was in, you had your purse on and you was good. But then you got left. And we stumbled across you crying. What's wrong? Brandon, he's a whore. He's a hoe. He, what you mean? He, he left me here. How am I going to get back? How am I going to get back? Wow. Wow. 
See, I ain't gonna ask who who become that before. I'm not gonna even ask. I'm not asking y'all who have become. You know, you and y'all know. Y'all eyes is a thousand times greater than the sun. He know what all of us have done on the face of this earth. Mm -hmm. Your garment is spotted because of it. And it's our job to walk into repentance, to get that off us, to plead that off our lives. We're almost done. We're almost done. Finish read. I'm going to break this last part down to you. Her men shall fall by the sword, her fighting manhood in battle, and her gates shall lament and mourn, and she, be, she shall be empty, shall sit on the ground. That's it? That's it. All right. So in closing, all right, I want to give you the formal definition of essence and of stench all right and let's start with stench stench means a stink a repugnant quality i mean that you are of a low value you, you just lower state Essence mean intrinsic nature. See what I was talking about? In that means who you are inwardly. See, that's why Sister Gabby said that the, the, the person I was talking about, that face was burned. People that's looking outwardly will miss her inward nature, who she really is because you're looking outwardly. Well, that's why a lot of daughters of Zion put all of this stuff on, all this extra makeup and these earrings and nose rings and tight jeans and high heels and all this. You miss your ankles. You got your butt sitting up real high and just all kind of crap. Because none of that's intrinsic. That's, that's, that's outside. That's what you became when you became prideful, when you right. are trying to, to uh, uh, snatch men. I can't think of my word right now. When you're trying to allure when you're trying to lure men, when you're trying to lure them to you instead of being found, you, you allure them. Mm -hmm. See, if your essence is right, you would draw them. But if your essence is wicked, now you need all of that, that other stuff. Because, see, I, I know, I, I, you know, I, I, I watch them. A lot of these women, you dress up real good, and then as soon as you get this man trapped in your house, you arguing with this nigga all damn day. And then the Bible got to tell you it's better for you to dwell on the rooftop right. than in the house with a contentious woman. Because right. you done got trapped and allured by all that bull crap and now you sitting in there stuck. So let this be a sound word in our ears this morning brought by Yahweh. We are uh, his children, his seed. I'm going to break this video up in a few parts. And so we're going to leave this you know, with the daughters of Zion uh, that you know, this was a sound word, you know, that you all should have received something this morning. So I appreciate you all listening to uh, our reader here, Brother Josh, this morning, uh, you know, listening to myself, Pastor Corey here with the Straightway Ministries of Straightway, Kansas City. You all have a blessed, blessed, powerful day. Walk out your repentance. Go back. Curse those things. Bind those things. Allow those things no longer to be a part of your essence. Regain your essence because it's in there. You are who Yah intended for you to be. Remember, gifts and calling is without repentance. So Yah ain't holding you to repentance on who he intended you to be, who he already made you to be. It's up to you to go back and begin to rediscover those things in which Yah desired for you and for you to begin to live those things out and to walk into repentance, freedom from aside those things which you allow to enter and to defile your temple. Bless you. Bless you well, Pastor Corey, Brother Josh. Shalom, shalom. Show your friends Just never gonna change it, change it, change Till you blah, 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 names No, 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 where that is Cause I change it on my brain